Alright, what's going on guys? So um right now I'm here with Babylon. Um I want to do a quick video, you know? Right here, uh I'm at Dollar Tree. My wife is actually inside the store right now with her mother. So while they're doing shopping instead of Dollar Tree, I figured I'd do a quick video for you guys. Now, the video that I'm doing is a drive-thru. I'm gonna do a drive-by real quick. Because Dollar Tree is right here in the middle, but to the left and to the right of that. Next to Dollar Tree was Sears, and right next to that was Kmart. And a long time ago, when that Kmart was opened, they closed down around 2018, 2019. Um, I actually went there a long time ago with my, back then, who was my fiance, now it's my wife. Me, her, and her family actually went there to that Kmart a long time ago. A lot of clearance items, but it's closed now. And I know Wally B26, he does a lot of Kmart videos. But right here, right in the middle of Dollar Tree, on the right over here, you have an abandoned Sears, and right to the left of that, you have a giant Kmart that's abandoned. So, I'm going to drive around, because it's freezing cold out here. It's freezing. And, you know, I could walk, but I'm literally just getting over being sick. Last week, I had a very bad case of pharyngitis, and I had no voice. I was coughing. I had headaches. My nose was clogged. My throat was hurting. No, that's weeds, man. I was, I was in the weeds last week. So, and my birthday is next Wednesday, too. My birthday is March 6th. So, my birthday is literally in five days. So I don't want to get sick before my birthday. But I don't know. I might just do a walk around. Just take my sweet time, you know. But let's see. All right. All right. Let's get out the car. And let's go check it out. Sears and Kmart. Here we go. All right, guys. And here we are. The old Kmart. And over there is the old Sears. I said I was going to drive. But you know what, man? Let's take our sweet time. And there goes Dollar Tree. My wife is in there shopping right now with her mother. So I figure while they're in there shopping, I'll come out here and do a quick video. So this was Kmart over here. It was a pretty big building as you can tell. And then we'll go around the back. If there's if there's a way to get around the back over there, I'll go. And I'll walk around the entire back. And we'll come around on the other side and check out Sears. If I'm not mistaken, I think there was a Sears appliance store. If I'm not mistaken, it was either Sears Appliance or Sears Auto. But I know it was Sears. When you get closer to the building, you'll actually see the labels card. It says Sears. This thing doesn't even have a labels card. Up there, it just has a hanging wire from where the sign used to be in the holes. Let's see. See the wires? You see all the holes from where the sign used to be? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's check it out. Somebody in my videos, one of my videos, somebody actually recommended it. So, that I'm here now. Somebody actually recommended this place. I knew about it a long time ago. I just, you know, whatever. Um, I just never had the time to come here. Because I live in Smithtown, so whatever. Private property. Parking for customers only. No car shows allowed. Well, um, I don't see anybody here. I don't see nobody. Huh. All right. Hmm. What's this? Fire department, Knox Life Safety System, fire and rescue entry, do not remove. Oh, look at this. Somebody was trying to get in there. Uh oh. Video cameras are on. Have also been given access and notified about the surveillance cameras on the building and the parking lot. Keep out. Private property. Security and property management. Thank you. Well, I don't see no cameras. But just because of that sign, I'm not going to pull the doors. You know what, man? I'm a glutton for punishment. Let's see. Oh, it, oh, it moves, but it doesn't open. But I'm a glutton for punishment. Look like somebody was trying to get in there too. Look like they freaking cut the sh Look, they cut that sh right there. Excuse me. They cut the heck out of that wire right there. My bad. I didn't mean to say that. But. Alright, let's keep going. I highly doubt anybody's gonna show up. Wow. Oh, yeah, it looks like they're having a wrong system right up there. Wow. 
Oh man, this place was massive. Look how big this freaking place was. Sorry about the wind. It's a little windy out here right now. <clears throat> yeah, all right, let's check this out. Wow, yeah, this is a massive building. It was huge. Private parking. Okay, private property. Parking for customers only. No car charge allowed. I think they made that fairly obvious. Because I remember a long time ago, they used to do a lot of car shows here. And a lot of times, the police used to show up. The police used to show up and craft their party. But there used to be a lot of car shows over here in this place. So, you know. It looks like this was another entrance over here. Hmm. Let's keep going. A couple of truckers over there. Nobody's in the truck. But, hmm. All right, vamos. Vamos again. Freaking freezing. It's cold as hell out here, but I'm doing this for you guys. I had a feeling there wasn't a way to get back there. It might be. Hang on. As Wally used to call this, the jail cell. Yeah, I don't think there's no, I don't think there's any way for me to get back there. There's no way for me to get back there at all. Yeah, there's no way to get back there. It's fenced off pretty well. I think they did that to prevent the car shows from happening. But, yep. Unless maybe there's like a little... Oh, yeah, I could hook around over here. Look. Over here, I could hook around. There's a little space over there. A little cross over here. I could hook around over here. Right here, I could hook around. And then just go this way. Here we go. All right, cool. Let's keep going, guys. It's a good thing I decided to walk. Because if I would have driven, I wouldn't have been able to get back here. So here we go. The abandoned Kmart here in West Babylon. Right here on Montauk Highway. Right across the street from that old abandoned National Wholesale Liquidators. I went over there a long time ago. If you guys noticed, I did a video over there a long time ago. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. <coughs> Jesus. My bad. Sorry about that. Oh. <clears throat> Sound like something went down the wrong pipe. We're just eating Pringles. A little while before I did the video, I was eating Pringles and it kind of went down the wrong pipe, a little bit of crumbs. Okay, so here we go. Wow. Wally B26. Wally usually calls that the jail cell. That's what he usually calls it, the prison yard. Here comes the, uh, here's the loaded knock over here. <coughs> wow. Oh, there goes a the surveillance camera right there, but it looks all broken and beat up. It doesn't look like that is operative. Hmm. Okay. Where's the old loading dock? Wow. This place is really hurting, man. And here's the back end of it. Look how big this place was. This is huge. This place is really hurting, man. This place is really hurting. But you can tell just how massive this freaking building is. It's a chain of connected stores. You have the Kmart here. Next door you got Dollar Tree, and at the very end you have Sears. None of them were connected. They were separate entries. The three stores, Kmart, Dollar Tree, and Sears are separate entries. So there was no connection, but the whole building was connected as one. It's just in order for you to gain access to the other two stores, you have to come out of the store and go in through the outside. From the front. Man, it's freezing cold out here, man. Jeez. Holy crap, it is freezing out here. Yesterday, I took my uncle to a Ranger game. Yeah, I'm an Islander fan, but you know, last month I was supposed to take my uncle to a Ranger game for his birthday. But due to a snowstorm that had came, we had to reschedule, so we wound up going last night. And yesterday out here on Long Island, the middle of the end of February, and it was almost 60 degrees. Right now, as I'm filming this video, wow, look at this. Right now, I was on filming this video. Yesterday, it was in the 60s. Now, right now, I was on filming this video. And today's leap year, February 29th. What was 62 degrees yesterday? Right now, it is currently 19 degrees. Talk about a massive, giant drop in temperature. So, here's the back. I'm not exactly sure what these were. But they could have been back entrances, if I had to guess. Wow. 
here goes a giant generator. I would assume that speaker box right there, I would assume that that's an alarm. Looks like it. Now, like I said before in one of my previous videos, when I did the video of the abandoned OTB racing firm, you guys saw that small speaker box that's right by one of the entrances. Now, those speaker boxes may seem small, but I can guarantee you that they can make a whole hell of a lot of noise. They may seem small, but don't let that fool you. Don't let the size fool you. I can guarantee you that those things, those little MFers can make a whole hell of a lot of noise if they get triggered. So, that could wake up the whole neighborhood if it has to. So, oh, look, there go the meters. Right now, since we're towards the end of the building, we're right near where Sears used to be. So this used to be Sears. Are the meters working? Oh yeah, it's working, look. Yeah, the meter works. Wow. That's cool, man. That's amazing. Wow. All right, let's go. Yeah, my wife keeps calling me because I think they're done with Dollar Tree. She keeps calling me, but I keep denying the calls because I don't want the video to cut off. If you answer any phone call while you're videotaping, the video starts abruptly. So. Okay, so I'm nearing the end of the building. Hopefully they don't have it fenced off over here because that would suck if I have to walk all the way back there. Oh, look, the trash area. Anything interesting? Box from Dollar. Oh, okay. Wow, look at that. Wow. Anything in here? Garbage. Looks like all of this is merchandise from Dollar Tree. All right, anything over here? A pallet jack or whatever? Trash can? Oh, yeah. Kool-Aid. All right, let's go. Damn, it's cold out here. Oh, boy, they have it fenced off over there, too. I'm sure there's no way for me to escape over there. So this is where Sears used to be. This is where Sears used to be. I'm sorry if you can barely hear me. It's kind of breezy out here. It's a little windy out here. But check out the gorgeous sunset that we got going on, huh? Right by the wheat fields. Beautiful, gorgeous sunset on this cold, chilly Thursday afternoon in February on leap year day. February 29, 2024. So what you're looking at right here, this is the old Sears. Yep, it's the old Sears. What's this? Oh wow. Marshalls. Wow, that's cool. Oh yeah, you know what? As a matter of fact, I do believe that there used to be a Marshalls that replaced the Sears. And after the Marshalls replaced the Sears, they moved across the street over there. And now it's right next to where the old National Wholesale Liquidators used to be. Okay, it makes sense. That makes sense. It is cold as hell out here, but I'm doing this for you guys. Facing blistering cold temperatures just for you guys. There goes an old pallet. All right, here we go. All right, we're nearing the end, guys. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. All right, and here we are. Here's what used to be Sears. We walk up over here. This used to be Sears over here. Now you see, all of this is paved off. They have all of the wood off. All of this is wood off. All the entrances are wood off. So that's why I said, well, there was no use of looking at Sears, but it looks like the entrances were over here, though. But all of these, I would assume that these were automatic entrances. But Sears and Marshalls used to be here. Marshalls moves across the street over there somewhere. If it's even still over there, I don't even know. I don't see it from here. This is one of the entrance over here. Again, with that no car show allowed, it made that pretty evidently clear that they got a freaking post that shit all over the freaking store, all over the premise. And this was the main entrance right over here. This was the main entrance over here. Yep. Fire, sprinkler, shut off valves inside Kmart. Right about over there. And then, real quick, before we finish, there goes another old pallet. 
before we finish, look at this. Three water main black fold device. Cool. Nice. And here's Dollar Tree over here. So before we finish, real quick, let me show you guys where the epic label scar is. Beautiful, gorgeous sunset. I love sunsets. Absolutely love it. All right, here's the label scar. Hold on one second. There it goes. Look at this. I'll zoom that in for you. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hang on. Look at that. That was Sears, and then I think right there when Marshalls were here, that's where I used to say Marshalls. This is why you saw the Marshall shopping carts. But right here, this is where the Epic Label Scar is. So this is where it is. So this is Sears, and then right there, right in the middle, you got Dollar Tree. Right there in the middle, you got Dollar Tree, right there. And then obviously over there is where you have the Kmart. So this was a pretty massive, pretty massive size property, massively size property. It's huge. Absolutely humongous. So, all right, well, I'm gonna get going because it's cold. So, yeah. All right, guys, I'll see you around. Do the outro. Take care. Well, well, that's done. Oh my God, it was freezing. It was freezing, freezing cold, but I did it for you guys. I did this for you guys. I know somebody in my, one of my videos recently commented saying that there's an abandoned Kmart here with Babylon. And I knew about this one all along. I just never had the time to come visit, you know, because I live so far and I'm rarely ever in this area. But now that I'm here, I might as well just take the time you know, might as well just take the time and take the effort to do it for you guys. You know, it's a good thing I didn't drive either. Good thing I didn't drive. Because over there it fenced off, but there was a little hook that I could have gone around. And over here, on the other side of the uh, on the other side of Sears, there was barely enough space for me to get through with a car. So it's a good thing I didn't drive. Good thing I walked. You know? But yeah, there goes your abandoned Kmart and abandoned Sears and what I believe was Marshall's. But you know what I mean? It was cool to do this video for you guys, right? Hell yeah. All right, well, you know, while I was doing the video, my wife was blowing up my phone. So I'm actually gonna go inside Dollar Tree, I'm gonna get him, and then we're gonna get out of here because it's getting cold. It's getting freezing my hand, it's getting dark. As you guys could tell, the sun is going down already. So I'm gonna go and grab my wife and my mother-in-law and then we're gonna get out of here. So they're inside shopping at Dollar Tree. All right, all right guys, well, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All right? It's freezing out here. All right, I'll see you guys later. Stay awesome, everybody. Take care.